Because one thing that struck me as a layman reading the Communist Manifesto was, okay, so you've got the proletariat who are much more numerous than the bourgeoisie. We are going to take the private property of the bourgeoisie and somehow inherit it for a time. But if there's a lot more of the proletariat than the bourgeoisie, you're not all fitting into their private property. So who's kind of agreeing to live in the nice places while the others choose not to? Right. And, and the and point is, the practical application isn't there. And especially Tearing today. down something. Yeah, that's attractive. Let's blow this thing up. Yeah. In but fact, then you, how do you build it? How do so you using it? these definitions, I would say in America today, there's more bourgeoisie than proletariat, especially if you're defining bourgeoisie as, as like the owning class that these people are doing. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, would, far more people in yeah, America are I'd owners be, than private I'd, property I'd owners. Class. Yeah. Neil is my proletariat. Yeah, right. He's your, he's your, your wage slave. Unless he hires somebody. But, then, but, but Neil owns stuff. Damn it, right? Neil. And as, and as soon as he you be, couldn't do that. As soon <laughs> as he becomes a homeowner, is he a bad guy? Is he part of the owning class? Yeah, then he would be, at, I suppose. At that, at Certainly that if he was to rent anything. Right. And, and so so in America today, the bourgeoisie so defined in these, these crazy categories might be a lot bigger than the proletariat. There's not that many people even that that, that are that are working in the steel. I, I drove across the bridge coming, uh, the Allegheny coming here today, right? Those old yeah. steel mills, are, they're shut down now. Yeah, uh, you know, a, a lot of them are working at home on their computers and their laptops and homes that they own. Here's the final, Thanks to capitalism. Here's the final line from the DSA. Um, we want a democracy powered by everyday people. Yeah. Yeah, again, that's got to be yeah. me. I'm, well, de I'm definitely one hey, of those. Hey, that sounds great. Yeah. The capitalist class tells us we are powerless, but together we can take back control. Yeah. Well, do they know uh, that Lenin was a big supporter of democracy? And um, Engels was a big supporter of democracy. In fact, let me uh, give you Lenin's definition. Lenin said, uh, democracy means equality. He said, say that again, Demo democracy means equality. Okay. The Bella Dodd, who was um, a member of communist party USA said, oh yeah, democracy. They always talk about that, meaning communists. She said, when the communists talk of democracy, when the socialists talk of democracy, they mean economic democracy. See, we hear that and we think, oh yeah, founding fathers, man. Jefferson, freedom of speech, freedom of press, Bill of Rights, right? But Lenin said, yeah, I support democracy. Democracy means equality. Democracy is of enormous importance to the working class in its struggle against the capitalists for its emancipation. But democracy is only one of the stages on the road from feudalism to capitalism and from capitalism to communism. And Engels said, said, said this, Democracy would be wholly valueless to the proletariat, get this, if it were not immediately used as a means for putting through measures directed against private property. So they wanted to use democracy in order to go against private property. Mm -hmm. that's, that's how they saw it. And he even talked about America, Ingalls did. In America, where a democratic constitution has already been established, the communists must make common cause with the party, which will turn this constitution against the bourgeoisie and use it in the interest of the proletariat. So democracy, and even like our constitution, are tools to be exploited. So American communists would sit there before the House Committee on Un-American Activities and, and the, they'd be asked, are you now or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? And what would they mm -hmm. do? They'd cite the Constitution. They, they'd invoke the Fifth Amendment, mm -hmm. the right against self-incrimination, which made anti-communists furious because they knew these guys were literally sworn to the Soviet Union. And if they ever took over the United States, the first thing they were going to put through the shredder was the U.S. Constitution. Mm. So they use these things as a temporary means in order to do what they want to do with their larger project. Thanks so much for watching. Please like if you liked and if you loved, subscribe.